So this case, Barry, mm-hmm. now this is Americans United in the Supreme Court, right? Correct, it is. And uh, this is a case involving two women who uh, went to their town council meeting in Greece, New York. New Greece, Rocket, New York. Yep, near Rochester, New York. And notice that uh, there were always Christian prayers being prayed. And up until 1999, the town council of Greece, like so many other small municipalities around the country, had a moment of silence to begin their legislative work, you know, to solemnize the occasion. But then, all of a sudden, with a slightly new configuration of members on the town council, they started to have a prayer. And indeed, it was always a Christian prayer. When in 2007, to show you that the wheels of justice do run slowly. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2007, we proceeded to uh, file this lawsuit. That one year, the town of Greece managed to find not a rabbi, but a Jewish person who could pray, who did a prayer. Uh, A Wiccan priestess did a prayer, Mm -hmm. and that was the end of diversity. There's no diversity. Every other prayer during the record of this case was a Christian prayer. And why does it matter? It matters, I think, because the people who go to these little town council meetings are one of three kinds of people, people who are being sworn in to serve the city. Uh, young people, kids in high school who need to go there for part of their civics requirement, and people with business before the court. Now, if any of those people would, for example, when the local uh, minister giving the prayer that day says, please join me, bow your head, as many of them do, if you don't participate in that and you're looking for a zoning variance or you're looking for an A in civics, you got a problem. You feel like an outsider. Sure, sure. I'm sure that... If you got a business guy who were, God forbid, talking, right, <laughs> uh, during the prayer, or, uh, sure. you know, looking around, or just not showing the right sure. reverence, that exactly. would uh, influence the council to vote against him. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the people on the I other side. I thought of it that way. But no, well, right. I mean, this is actually what we think is the strongest uh, argument before the court. The Second Circuit Court of Appeals, where we had won unanimously uh, before the Supreme Court, of course, took, took the case, decided to hear it again. But they said, how could you not, if you're a person looking in that uh, city town council chamber you look at the podium it's got the seal of greece new york on it and there's a minister who almost inevitably is going to be preaching or making a statement in support of jesus christ how could you not think that the government of greece had endorsed that idea so there are all kinds of constitutional defects in this case i'm sad to say uh, the Department of Justice has come in on the wrong side. They have come in to support this legislative prayer practice, um, and uh, we were quite frankly shocked by that. Well, so you won at the first court yep, level, yep, lower court yep. level. Then they appealed it to the uh, district court, right? They, they appealed to the uh, uh, Second Circuit, Second right? Circuit. Right. We win and there, you, and you win there yep, unanimously. Yep. Then the City of Greece. Appeals again. Appeals again. Yep, to the U.S. Supreme Court. All right, so is this like the League of National League of Cities or anything, or is this this one? No, this is this one small town. I'm sure that yeah. many people in the town well, are very why nice would the people. Supreme but Supreme Court take this case. I mean, the Supreme is, Court is trying to figure out under what circumstances legislative prayer is permissible. Now, as we know, there are prayers in Congress, uh, but I'm the getting, difference. I was going to get yeah, there. Yeah, but the difference here is when. The Supreme Court, whether we like it or not, has said if a legislative body decides to have a prayer, uh, decides to hire a chaplain uh, like the House and Senate do, uh, and the prayers are de- essentially given to the members, not that anybody, as we both know, show up to hear the prayer, but in theory, they could show up and hear the prayer. In these circumstances in Greece, New York, the prayer is uttered not for the benefit of the city council. In fact, the prayer, the minister, is not even looking at them. He's looking out at the audience, Mm. the people with business before the body. It is for the public benefit and the public promotion of these prayers, these highly sectarian prayers, really makes this vastly different than just listening to some guy on C-SPAN uh, where if you're sitting at home listening or you're a member of Congress watching it, it has yeah. limited, if any, effect on you all at right, all. So you are asking what relief? We're asking for the court to make it clear that a process needs to be in place where if you're going to do this at all, you can have non-sectarian prayers only and that they cannot be directed at the public. They need to be 
kind of in-house with the members of the town council why itself. Wouldn't you, why wouldn't you take the position, no prayer, no prayer, period? Well, I mean, frankly, uh, because in s- we already are building on a floor that is a little decrepit, and it's the floor that says under some circumstances legislative prayer is permissible. But we're trying to show, as, as you and I just talked about, that this yeah. is a coercive matter. Yeah. The people here have business, and the people – who have business before this town council cannot be get made to feel like second-class citizens because they can't or they won't participate, prayer being, as you and I know, a participatory event. They can't participate in something with which their conscience disagrees. So this big issue, which has been debated on so many different in so many different venues, uh, about f- forced prayer, basically, whether it's school yep. now here, it's a legislative body, gets its way all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States, where we have a Democrat, a progressive in the White House, and you're telling me that Barack Obama is on the side of Greece and not on the side of Americans United? That is sad, but true. Uh, It was uh, kind of the final announcement was made, as uh, sometimes why? Politicians why? Do. why? Uh, b- uh, there seems to be some I mean, sense that this of has faith. an effect. Of I mean, course and, he is. And he's a Christian. Of he's course he Christian. is. You know, and and we know that, and he and he does go to church. He went sure. to church last Sunday, sure. not every Sunday. He's no. not a Catholic. He doesn't no. have to. <laughs> but went last Sunday, and yep. he has a group of ministers that he sure. uh, you know confides with every once in a while. So we know that. But, I yep. mean— this this crosses the line. It yeah, seems I do to me. think this administration has a little fear because of all of the lies told about Barack Obama about his religion or what kind of religion he has. All the lies and the fact that thirty percent of Americans still think he's a Muslim and all that. He's very sensitive, uh, but he's making some policy decisions like this one that are bad. He, they're not going after these absolutely corrupt five hundred one c three organizations. This has nothing to do with what you know happened earlier this year, uh, churches that actually endorse candidates yeah. and have said, among other things, some of the rudest things in the last election cycle about Barack Obama and specifically told our whole congregations not to vote for him. This is illegal. They're not cracking down on that. They haven't fixed the so-called faith-based initiative where we're doling out hundreds of millions of dollars to groups that right. wouldn't hire you or me because we're of the wrong religion. These are administrative changes that could be made. They're relatively simple. It's not rocket science. It's not even fixing, you know, the health care databases. This is real simple stuff, but I think he's concerned, he's nervous about it because it touches on this issue of religion where he feels some vulnerability. But it's time to kind of get off of that and on to fixing these issues. 